So great, we've gone through how to make a fix directly and, and commit directly onto master. The second process I wanna cho show is how to propose a change that requires um, somebody else's uh, involvement. Uh, so in this particular case, um, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna follow a slightly different process, um, but I'm gonna, it's gonna start essentially the same way. I'm gonna come into my um, development environment. I'm using the IDE. Um, and uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to refresh so I get the latest version. I'm going to come to April's um, uh, Hello World, and um, I'm going to say um, uh, there are some things that I know about um, uh, th about April that I don't see here. Um, uh, and I'm, so I'm going to propose a change here. Now I know that that I need April's approval before this will go um, uh, to to the handbook. But I know that April has a dog. And I know that she loves her dog. And she even referenced that she has the dog in the background. Now, I think that this is something that's probably good to have on April's page, but I don't actually know whether she is comfortable with that or wants to put it, uh, wants to put it directly in the handbook for everybody else. Uh, and so um, I could have a conversation with April and in, 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 you know, in a real situation, I probably would talk through this with her uh, in advance uh, and just sort of make sure that we're thinking along the same lines. But for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, I'm just going to propose this uh, as, a, as, a, as a change. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the change directly on April's page. I'm going to commit it, but rather than committing to master like I did last time, what I'm gonna do is create a new branch and start a merge request. And what this is doing is it's basically saying, I wanna keep this in a, a separate part. Um, I don't wanna publish this yet. Remember the master is the thing that makes this published to the world, but creating it as a new branch says, I wanna keep it in a safe environment that's still separate from the published version of the handbook. And creating a new merge request means that I'm gonna have an opportunity to talk through it with April before it actually gets approved by a manager. Um, and um, and so we'll st we'll talk through that process now. So I'm going to go ahead and and, and do that now. Uh, in this case, I'd say uh, this um, uh, we can give this a title, and I'll just say uh, update uh, April's uh, uh, hello world. Um, actually, something a little bit more informative. Uh, I I'll say it would be to um, I'll say uh, add April's uh, uh, dog to her hello world. That gives just a brief synopsis of the change that I'm proposing. And uh, there's two things to consider here. Um, if I uh, think that this proposal is ready and doesn't need uh, more work, I'll just make it the title this way. If I think that it needs more work, I can also add a draft or a, um, a work in progress um, indicator in front of it. Uh, so I could to draft or um, work in progress like that. But in this case, I think this one is ready to go. So I'm just gonna leave it as the title. Uh, I'm gonna assign it directly to April because I want her to, um, to look at this. And, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and submit the re merge request. There are a few other things here that um, we can go into in another lesson, but I just wanted to sort of show you how, um, how this uh, would work. So let's go ahead and submit the merge request. Now, one thing to note, and April, we'll switch over to your screen. Um, right now, uh, um, merge requests to the handbook can only be approved by managers. And this is really, um, uh, this is right now just uh, as we're rolling out the process, I wanna be a little bit um, cautious about who approves because we don't have a clear process uh, for deciding what changes go in and who needs to approve things and all that. So this is just a, a simple process that's gonna be very clear. But because I'm proposing this uh, to uh, April, I actually uh, want to mimic the idea that she is going to look at it first. So April, what I'll do is have you start sharing your screen and see this merge request. So um, can you, um, I'll, I'll share this with you in the chat so that you can um, open this on your screen. And now when you have that open, maybe you can share your screen and step us through how to, um, how the merge request looks on your side. Good deal. Okay, so, so now I proposed a change. What do you think about that? What do you think about including um, your dog on your Hello World page? Yep, I'm okay with that. Great. So in this case, what I would say is um, because you're not a manager, you're not going to be able to approve it. 
Um, but what I would suggest is that you then go out to the description below and say, looks good to me, and reassign it back to Nolan. So in this box right here, the right box. Yep. Okay. Looks good to me. And then. Uh, oh, and let me just show you how to see actually, to actually see the change. Um, so if you look up here, the merge request has some context about what it is. Okay, and so you're going to see the overview here, and then you're going to see the number of commits that it, that it entails and the changes of those commits. So go ahead and look at the changes, um, because this will show you the context of what's actually going on. So you'll see here what this is saying is that there's one, um, well, there's actually looking here first, there's one file that's changed, and there's one new line and no removed lines. All right, and now it's showing you what that file is that's changed. It's this april.md file, and it's highlighting the one line that has changed and putting a plus in front of it. So now you can see what exactly that change is and exactly what I proposed. Uh, what I proposed. Does that make sense? Yep, makes sense. Great. So now go back to the overview and tell me what you think of that change. Uh, looks good to me. So. Okay. Uh... And what I would suggest is you also reassign it to me, because um, right now it still has the assignee as April. So go up here, go, uh, go up to the top right and edit that and uh, assign it to me. And then uncheck myself, I guess. Sure, yeah. Okay. All right. And go ahead and uh, click, um, yeah, go ahead and click uh, at the bottom, uh, scroll down here. You have to click comment and that'll add that uh, comment. Comment and close or just comment? Just comment. Okay. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that same merge request. I'm going to share my screen again. Now I have this, uh, I still have this merge request open. So I'm just refreshing it on my screen. I get your comment here. And so now as a manager, um, I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, great. I've gotten a, I've had the collaboration that I need to know that this change is okay. I'm going to go ahead and click approve, and then I'm going to um, uh, merge it into master. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking that, uh, that change that was on a branch, I'm bringing it back into master, and what you can see here, and that's the way of saying that it's, um, it's going to, um, uh, uh, to be um, uh, published. Um, I can look here and this will show me, um, you know, that little code here is going to show me that same pipeline view since I'm not in the editor anymore. And that'll show me if I, because uh, um, now what that has done is kicked off the process to republish uh, the handbook. So I'll go ahead and watch the status of that pipeline. So you can see it's a little bit variable and that just means that the GitLab servers are a little bit more busy. And, um, okay, and I also pressed refresh. so. Uh, so now that should work. Uh, come here, go look at April's page, and now it says April has a dog who she loves. Perfect. Um, so that change has been uh, has been pushed out, and published. Um, okay, let's do some Q and A around uh, that the the um, uh, this page that we so I just showed the um, this. I just did a walkthrough of this second process, how to propose a change. Um, let's do some Q&A around that. OK, um, so I don't really have any questions. It seemed pretty straightforward. Um, I just think for me that it's going to come down to repetition, because it seems like um, the processes for each are very similar, which mm -hmm. will make it easier to learn. but. Um, there's different areas that you navigate to in GitLab um, to do like a merge request or propose a change or to uh, edit it, edit a uh, hello world page. So that's the part for me that I'm going to have to repeat to, to get the process down. But it seems Great. fairly straightforward. Good. Um, in that spirit, I have a, a handbook skills um, page here that is uh, um, meant to go through some of the concepts and, and share some of the things that are uh, that are related. We can do that as a separate lesson and I'll sort of articulate some of those. Um, in the spirit of repetition, um, we noticed uh, that there are some formatting errors on this page, right? You can see that these this was sort of intended to be bullets, but um, are, are actually showing up as a paragraph. 
um, I'd like to fix that right now. Okay. Um, would you like to uh, do the fix and have me walk you through it? Or would you prefer to wa watch me um, uh, make the fix? Um, I, I'd prefer to do it myself. Great. So That's why don't you share your screen? Okay. All right. Um, do I need to go to any certain page before I do this? No, go ahead and share your screen. The one that has the GitLab editor and, and the handbook, uh, but then we'll, what we'll do is we'll talk through um, how to uh, make that change. Okay. All right, um, you said go to the GitLab editor. This is where I'm, I'm like, I'm tripping myself yeah, up. Yeah, great. <laughs> I know, that's, it's great. It's great to see, it's because there, there's definitely some setup, um, there's some context that it takes to, to be able to do this. So um, if you want to navigate directly there, uh, what you, you can see here at the top, um, sorry, let me get my annotation on. Um, you can see here that you are in the handbook project. If you were not in the handbook project, you could change that up here under the projects. Okay, okay. But you are in the handbook project and therefore you can go straight to the repository. Okay. All right, and then uh, I'm assuming docs. Yep. And then handbook, uh, handbook. Yeah, and what you're doing now is you're just navigating the, high, the, the source code of the repository. Okay. Um, which you can do in this view. This is the same thing that we talked about. You can navigate it as files. Uh, so you're here now, you're navigating as a, as a set of files, or you can go to the web IDE um, and, and use that to navigate. Uh, so handbook is the right location, right? And then... Uh -huh. Uh, and the default page, yeah. So if you go, just open the handbook uh, here, just so we can see the page that we're trying that we're trying to find, um, because the correspondence between um, the pages, yeah. So index right. will be the default page in any in any folder. Um, okay. It'll be the first page showed shown. Um, so, um, so if you look here and you pre preview the markdown here, so because here's the here's the error right that we're seeing on the final page, and you can see that this is something where, um, in this preview, it actually looks fine. Okay. Right. You see here it's showing these as bullets, but come come up here to this other tab on the on the top of the screen. Okay. Let me move my controls. There we go. Yep. Handbook um, overview. Yeah, so you can see here, this it looks like um, it's a paragraph, right? You see the same same thing is displaying a little bit differently. Yeah. Yeah, so that's actually something where um, there, this is again, one of the um, shortcomings of Markdown, right? Is that um, it can look a little bit different in different contexts because the what this is showing is that the, the pipeline that is publishing this to our handbook, treats this content a little bit differently than, than the previewer that GitLab has as its default preview, right? Now that's unfortunate, but just something that we're gonna have to deal with for the time being. So just go back over to the edit and I'll show you um, what, it, what it takes to do that. The, the biggest difference here, the reason why this is not working is that at the end of this line, there's not a blank line. Um, it's it's just going straight into the bullets, so it's treating that as a single paragraph. So if you just add a bullet there, uh, just add a, a hard return. There you go. Um, that should be all you need to do to turn it into um, uh, into something there. Now you can preview it, but remember it worked. It, it already worked on the preview, so um, it's gonna it's um, it's gonna be imperfect uh, because it looks good now, but it also looked good before. But I've, I've, I've happened to run into this error before, so I'm familiar with the context of it. Okay, so then we just commit to uh, yep. master? Yep. Okay. And then we wait for the change. That's right. Now, while that's happening, there were a few others on this that were having the same error, so let's go ahead and fix them. Okay. Um, you can see it there, you can see it here. Ah, okay. Here. 
that was it, right? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yep. Go ahead and do that. Uh, great. So let's go back up to this page up at the top and just see how that worked. Um, do a refresh of the page. So it looks like it hasn't yet republished. Are there short keys to do a refresh? Yeah, if um, it would be Command R on a Mac. Okay. Um, yep. Or Command Shift R if you want to like force a refresh. That just the, the difference is just whether you're clearing the cache. Ah. So let's see. It looks like it hasn't yet. Um, there we go. Great. Okay, so you've made sure. your first fix on the handbook now. Yay. Thank you. Yep. And I read through this last night and there are a few like, it may not have been this page, but there was another page where there were uh, a few misspelled words. So I will probably go back and fix those. Great. I couldn't tell if that was intentional, like, hey, this is your, your test kind of thing, or if it was <laughs> truly a, yeah, let's just Yeah, let's just assume that I made those mistakes on purpose just to make sure that somebody else can uh, pick them up and fix them. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Sounds good. <laughs> I think that's a good general assumption. If, if you ever see a mistake that no one made, just assume that it was on purpose so that to get somebody else to fix it. Uh, I'm just I'm just kidding, of course. No, and, and I think this is also, this is an incomplete thought here, right? You can see um, this sentence, I had actually started to do that um, and um, and then uh, got distracted. And in theory, I should have caught that and not, not actually published that change. But again, that's something that's obviously an error um, and something that doesn't need uh, uh, that that should should do some approval. Um, 